Now we've all used padlocks, but do you know how they're made? Well, I'm here at Henry Squire, who have been around over 240 years to find out exactly how a lock is made from design concept to finish assembly. Now, study here right now, I feel like Mr. T wearing this, but this is the strongest lock in the world. And it's been tested up to 24 tons. So let's go inside and find out how a lock like this is made. So now we're in the exhibition room and as you can see they have locks for everything starting with cycle locks but they also do a full range of motorcycle locks as well now as we move down you can see they've got key padlocks combination padlocks padlocks for storage containers and once we get to the end they actually do the world's strongest lock which is tested to 24 tons which i think it's a bit much for your garden shed but Stick around because we're actually going to follow this lock all the way from design to finish assembled. So now I'm in the design room with Jim, who is senior design engineer, who's going to talk us through the concept and design every lock will go through. So, Jim, where does it all start? Well, it all starts with a concept of um, what do we need a product for? Um, is there something that we are currently not uh, protecting that we need to design a lock for? Do we need something that's stronger than existing products we already have that are suitable? And that's where we um, then take it to the, the design, the CAD design on our, you see on the screen there. Now, can we actually see an exploded view of this lock? Yeah, we can, yeah. As you can see on the screen, they can see everything that will go into a lock. So now we're actually going to head down to the shop floor to the start of the process. Before the manufacture of a lock can begin, raw material is dropped into the holding area, which is then placed into the vibro bowl for deburring, so then it's ready for the next process. The lock we are following is then machined in four stages on this twin pallet machine. Using jigs designed at Henry Squire, the blocks are machined, then rotated, machined, rotated until complete. The next process for our lock is the machining of the slot, which is done on this horizontal mill using a side and face cutter. The slot of each block is made to a tolerance size and finished. It is then back into the vibra bowl for a final time to remove any burrs that remain. When the block comes back from heat tree and blacking, it's time for assembly. Depending on the barrel design, barrels are either assembled beforehand or when needed for the locks. This is also at the same time when the keys are cut. Henry Squire tests their locks to various industry standards. On this machine, randomly selected locks from production are tested for tensile strength to make sure they meet the levels Henry Squire claim. As I stand here, you can see behind me the heritage of Henry Squire. And don't forget, this company has been around over 240 years 
and this timeline is dotted around all over the building. Now, you have seen this lock from design concept all the way up to finished product. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. But if there's anything else you would like to see, leave a comment below.